Hi, dear students. You are welcome back to Edubay Dynamic Solution. And what I'll be teaching you today is the last part, which is the web authoring of paper 31, uh, May, June 2023. Now, this question is a bit um, different from what we are used to because the question actually asks um, about meta tag. And of course, this is the first time the question will be asking this. Then I'm going to teach you as well. So how to answer this kind of question in future. Now, let's get started. The question says, you are working as a part of a team of web developers at Tawara Web and have been asked to create part of a web page for a client. Create CSS to be added to an external style sheet to meet this specification. Well, there are many ways of doing this. One of the things you can do is just to open your notepad, okay? And uh, if you know CSS, you can actually write the um, uh, all what they ask you. You can write it here. Now, for example, the question says set the font for H1. Then you can type H1, H2, H2, H3, H3. And the paragraph, paragraph is actually represented by P so that then you have your call bracket, these two call brackets. Now, this is the selector or these are our selector. All right, what is the property and value? The first property is so that um, the browser selects and display the font Calibre. All right, so this one is the value Calibre. But whenever we are talking about the value, we need to talk about the property first. The property is going to be font family. All right, the font family then is Calibri. And the question says that um, if this is not available, the browser selects and display the font Helvetica near. So you can just copy this. So which means if it's not available, you have comma then the, is going to use this. But because this one is two word, so we need to put it in the code so that the browser will know that these two is just only one word. It's not two different words. Then you press comma. Then the question says, if neither of these fonts is available, the browser should display its default sans serif. Then if any of this is available, then the browser is going to display sans serif this is how you write sans serif i believe this one is quite clear now if then place a copy of your css in your evidence document yeah very simple one so this is what the question asks you to do you just copy this and you put it in your in whatever your um your evidence file is now the next question says create all the head section of a web page to meet this specification Number one is title of the web page is weather data. All right, this is the title. Now, if you want to do this, the best way of doing this is number one, you start with, um, so you start with head, all right? Then you close with head because the question asks you to put it in the head, right? In the head section. Now, after head, you have what we call title because the question says title. Then don't forget in HTML, when you open title, you have to close it. You open title, you have to close it. And what is the title? This is the title that you are given. All right, so you can just remove the space. It's just as simple as this, no more, no less, only this. That's how to answer to this question. Now, the next question says meta tag. Now for this meta tag, I actually need to explain some few things for you. Normally, meta tag, these are information. Uh, uh, yeah, these are set of information we put on our web pages so that uh, the search engine can know more information, can know more about your website. You know, the search engine such as Google or any other search engine. So normally read all the information you put on the meta tag. So because of that, you are going to have a better web ranking. You are going to have a better web ranking. So uh, if you do your meta tag very well, usually meta tag, it will never show, it will not show. 
so on a web page so the meta tag whatever information you put on meta tag it is basically for what is is it is basically for back end just for the search engine to rank your website better now but before i go to the question so that you can understand better there are some attributes that you need to know all right as far as meta tag is concerned there are some attributes you need to know attributes number one you're supposed to know is what to call um character sets we call it car set or char set so this char set is character set in another word we sometimes call it character encoding all right character encoding then number two you're supposed to know what we call content this is another attribute then number three you're supposed to know what we call name these are the three main attributes which are very very important as far as your meta tag is concerned we are having these three main attributes now let me talk about all these attributes one by one now the first attribute whenever we have char set which is a character uh, uh, character set now this character set we have a lot of them we have a lot of character encoding and but the most common character encoding is what we call utf-8 all right this one is for english all right or for unicode basically for unicode you can write it down because of next time it's for unicode and we do have another one we call it iso yeah it's iso um, dash eight eight five nine dash one did you need to memorize it no you don't need to memorize this one because the question will give you whatever the character encoding by the way but these are the two uh, main character encoding for english language which are quite famous this one we use it for latin for latin alphabets so please take note of these two write it down in your notebook now which means whenever the question says that the uh, okay let me give you an example now let me give you an example if the question says um, the character encoding is utf what do you need to do you just have to type meta you know the character encoding is char set which is the character set what is it then you just have to write utf-8 then that's all no more no less this only thing that the question wants you to write character encoding what we use just write char set then whatever character encoding you are given if you are given iso then you write iso here as well iso um five um what was it eight eight five nine one right eight eight five nine then dash one yeah whatever you are giving you just write it here now if you understand this character encoding let me move to something else let's talk about the uh, attributes name for your information this attributes name it has another sub attribute it has author attribute it has description attribute it has um keywords attribute and finally it has viewport attribute under name all of them are name okay the main attribute is name but under it we have these four sub attributes author description keywords and viewports so these are the four main sub attributes under on the name so don't forget to write it down now but for your information each of these attributes they always follow by content attributes okay each of these each of these um, attributes uh, always follows by content attributes how okay let me give you an example if for example if the question say that the author is edubi 
if the question say the author is Edube. If you want to write this one, Edube. If you want to write this one, don't you will not write meta um, meta author equal um, Edube. No, this is wrong. So you won't write this. But what you will write, so this one is not correct. So what you will write is, you say name, name equal what? Equal author. You say name equal author. You know, I told you earlier that all of them are name, then under name. So we have all the uh, all these sub attributes. So you say meta equal name. Uh, so meta, so name equal author. Now, what is now the content? You will now say content equal uh, edube because the name that we are giving is edube, right? So this is how it works. Then this is what you do. This is how to do it. So for example, if the question says description is I love ICT. So what you write is meta name equal description description okay then you will now say content equal i love ict like this this is how you do it so take note of so take note of this very well and i think final okay i don't want this video to be sh so long but with this one i give you i believe you should have the idea on how we do this already. Now, let me now go back to the question directly. The question answer meta tag, set the character encoding. Aha. When the question says set the character encoding, then you say meta. What is the character encoding is char sets. Okay. Then char set equal what? Equal to ISO dash 8859 dash 1. That's all. So no more, no less. This only thing you write. Okay. Now, then what is the second one? The question says set the name. So let me try to minimize this one a little bit so that we can see the screen very well. Okay. Um, where is it? This one. Let me put them beside each other. Okay. This one is also too small. Ado. Okay. Okay. Can you see clearly now? So let me put them beside each other so you can see and reduce the size of this a little bit. Um, okay. Now the question says, set the name of the author. Set the name of the author. In that regard, you say meta uh -huh, name equal equal what equal author name equal author then to tawara web tawara web followed by a space then your name tawara web followed by a space then your name so you will now say content content equal tawara web followed by a spa space then your name in my own case, I'm writing a duvet. That's all. This how to solve this problem. Question two. Number three, set the web page description. Web page description to uh, weather data for the Tawara region. Same idea. You see meta, meta name equal description. Description then content equal then you type all this one that's all so that's how to do this then you close the tag now this one says set the view port to the width of the device to the width of the device again you say meta name equal view ports viewports all right 
Now, you will now do the contents now. So what is the contents? So then you say contents equal, the question say with. So whenever the question, whenever the, the question is talking about with, what you do is um, with, with equal, equal what? Device with. How do we know? Because the question clearly says width of the device. So width equal, equal what? Equal device width. So then our device, then the device width. So you can close. Okay, this one is already there. Then you put comma. Then the question says being used with an initial scaling of two. Initial scaling of two. Then this one will be initial, initial, then scale, initial scale, then equal what? 2.0. Initial scale, 2.0. So then you can close it. You close this one. You see here, name, viewport, then the content. What is the content? Number one, with equal device with. Then number two, initial scale equal to, then you can close it. Now, uh, set two appropriate meta tag keyboard, keywords for use of search engine for this web page. Okay, same idea. You say meta name equal keyword, then content then equal then let's look at this what do you think this website is actually talking about so you will see the question is talking about weather right that's one number two is also talking about um then it's also talking about tawara so then you close this oh sorry no need to close it here then you close the tag Okay, keyword content is this, weather and tawara. These are the two main things this one is talking about. Then you put the comma. Now, the last question says, set the default target window. Okay, to do the default target window, that one is also quite easy. We use base for that. That one is not a tag. You say uh, base, then what is the base? You say targets equal then you see the question clearly says the target window is underscore blank then you put underscore blank yeah that's all then if the page is open for me within the same browser okay that's all then copy of your html source in your evidence document so that's all what you need to do and you can claim your easy how many marks is 22 marks actually my student told me they struggle a lot so on this question why because you know this is the first time cambridge is asking this kind of question to the best of my knowledge or maybe they asked it sometimes ago but it has been a while i've seen this kind of question before i well, see okay so you just have to memorize this and take note in case you also have it in your exam and don't forget to visit my website and you can support your teacher you can buy some of my online courses together with my other uh, examiners so we do have ict i created this myself so what is the theory as well as the practical one theory and practical paper two and paper three this one is one on the chapter 12 and we do have accounting, economics, mathematics, biology, then chemistry and physics is also there. You just have to click on courses, you come to IGCSE, then you can see all the list of the subjects are available and it's very cheap as well. So please follow us um, and support your teacher. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well so that you can get notification. So every single time I upload a new video, so bye for now. Bye.